Tonight on Be Green, the dark side of compact fluorescence. Turns out they might be saving you energy, but costing you in other areas. Here's environment columnist Gideon Adkorni. CFLs of these curly light bulbs have become the symbol of the green revolution. But they might not be such a bright idea. First of all, they contain mercury, which can make them dangerous if they break and they're difficult to recycle. But now studies show that there may be even bigger consequences to your health. They're nice looking and energy efficient and come highly recommended by, well, your government. But they might be making you sick because CFLs produce what's called dirty electricity. I Skyped with an expert in the field, Professor Magda Havis, to find out exactly what this means. Clean electricity is a, is a smooth sine wave that just goes up and down 60 times a second. And when you have dirty electricity, you have these spikes that are right on top of it. Um, and these are high frequency transients. And we know that they affect electronic equipment. And we're learning that they also have uh, effects on humans. Havis talks about the effects on diabetics. We can take a person who has a, a certain level of blood sugar, put them into an environment where they're exposed to dirty electricity or radio frequencies, and their blood sugar will begin to climb. We can then move them into a clean environment, and their blood sugar will begin to fall. So we can turn it on and off just like a light switch. We've worked with people who have multiple sclerosis, and when they're in a dirty environment, their uh, neurological symptoms um, are bad, and when they're in a clean environment, they improve. Havis also mentioned one study in a school in Wisconsin. And one of the things they found with the students is that um, when they cleaned up the power quality in the school, they, they improved power quality. They found that 37 of the students who had asthma and required inhalers on a daily basis stopped using them. They stopped using them in the, home in, in the school environment, but they still needed to use them in the home environment. Let's go to my house now where Tom Nader, an EMF or electromagnetic frequencies expert, is helping me do an experiment. We want to see how much CFLs change the EMF field in my home. We start with the base reading. This is when nothing but the fridge is running. Then we try an incandescent bulb. No change. Ditto a halogen bulb. Now a CFL. Holy. Even worse, the effect of CFLs is cumulative. So more CFLs equal more dirty electricity. The more CFLs you add right. throughout your house, right. and in a typical home, I have, I counted in my home, I've got 50 light bulbs, right? And if I replace them all... Nada says there are viable options for those looking for safe energy efficiency. For example, a GS filter or a Graham Stetzer filter, which cleans the power on your circuit. Or... So this is an LED bulb. It doesn't produce dirty electricity. There is no mercury in them. Plus, they're the most energy efficient bulbs on the market and they last longer than your average CFL. Yeah. I've posted more information on my blog, including some of Dr. Havis's research. Log on to cbc.ca slash Montreal at 6 and look for the Be Green link. And I want to know, would you still buy and use compact fluorescent light bulbs or will you bring them to a recycling center? Leave me a comment or call 514-597-5626. I'm Geetha Narkarni. Until next time, Be Green.